The next thing I need to do to make the helmet for Darth Vader. For that, I need to make a collar. I use this program on the computer, freely available off the internet, called Cone Calc. To use this program, you put some dimensions in. Diameter, diameter A, that's the bottom. If I say 300, and diameter A, say 240, which meaning between there and there, there and there, it will stick out 240, 300, 60, 30, 30 millimeters either side. This is for example, the height, then put in One, 100 and you press calculate you then get some dimensions given to you the large radius that's the top one the small radius that's the bottom one and you get a a beam compass really and you draw those two arcs you're given dimension X and you cut it off at that let me show you what I use to draw the arcs or the radius or the radii as there's two of them I use an off cut of wood at one end I put a posi drive screw in just poking through that will give the uh, piece of wood something to pivot on. Various lengths. I've drilled holes through. If, for example, it's given me a radius of 594, I've measured from the pivot point to that one. And then I will just shove pencil or pen through. Draw the radius as required. And then next, oh, keeping the pivot point in the same place, drawing another radius. And that will give me the template as you've just seen on the computer. So I've cut that out, I've used it before. Keep your template. I know that we'll wrap round that just right. So, bit of tin. What have we got here? Uh, uh, it's difficult to say. 0.8 mil. Don't think it's one mil. It's just about bendable. Uh, it'll do for this job. This, because it actually only comes to here, down and around doesn't have to be that flexible right stretch that out more magnets draw around it cut it out usual tool angle grinder got one or two knocking about those one I'll get that up cut it out there it is it wants a bit more working on it. Uh, basically, just keep folding it, keep bending it, keep forcing it round. Uh, try and make it. Obviously, they're not going to meet. They ain't going to meet because if you look at Da, it's only go to go from here all the way around to here. Okay, now I've got it uh, folded round to the shape I like. Slip it in here, a few tacks on, gives me the shape I need, Try it, trying to keep it an equal distance and I'm bringing it all around several tacks, however, as I will show you, I gone wrong, 
comes down at an angle I quite like but on this side he's really jutting forward just not the same so I went somewhere wrong in cutting my template fixable easily with a piece of French chalk so I'm going to do this spin it round look at that basically straight down come round piece of chalk here straight down now I've still got to put that flange on so give myself a little bit extra to do that so angle grinder slitting disc get this off figure a way of bending that over get it well welded up So with that little bit cut off, like so, I was figuring a way of maybe how to bend that over. I don't really want to untack it all the way around, put it on the base plate, flatten it over. So I'm going to attempt a little bit of flat steel, a little bit of bar stock, shove that under there and then whack it over the edge over on that let's see how we go on that so that kind of works i'm giving it again so a piece of flat bar over pass it over i did have to grind that uh, spot weld off a little bit too narrow i think that allowed me to pull it out a little bit I think it, I still need to pull it out a little bit more looking straight at that symmetrically I can see more under here and I can under here so that side needs upping out a bit so I'll just do that now now I've got it how I like it I've now got a fully seam weld I don't know what do you call it a skirt to that to make it the helmet I do this by lots of little tacks in it initially now you're going to find if it will zoom in that there is quite big gaps down there I can shove that blunt chisel down there and that is you can see how you think that is I've got something like two to three mil probably four mil in in the middle of that how I do that little tack heats the metal up cross bearing hammer flatten it in bigger hammer you can't have enough hammers hammers for everything I'm the old school type bash it till it fits maybe why they all look so uh, bespoke and handmade <laughs> right that's it just gonna carry on I can't just bash that in it won't work well my my experience it doesn't work I've got to force that in a little bit there put a tack in bash that in more another tack there and work my way all the way around and then I'll seam weld it so that goes Okay, I've got it uh, where I like it. If I can zoom in on this weld. Well, I ain't a welder. I can edit my intro. I'm self taught. They say practice makes perfect. I think I'm developing some bad habits. Things I think I've got is my wire speed a little too high. I'm not touching it, it's going to burn. Uh, I'll come that way. You can see, they're quite proud. I've got quite a build up. Well, from all the tubes I've watched, it says turn my wire speed down. Turn my wire speed down. I 
tend not to get a good weld, I tend to get lots of little well, bird shit. Best way to describe it. I'll carry on doing the way I do. Like I said before, grinder and paint will make the welder I ain't. That's not my uh, saying, that's from SV Seeker. The guy who's building a boat, I've watched him since. Since he started building his boat. Head over there and look him up. SV Seeker. Right, I'm going to crack on. Thrall. This is a Christmas present. And it's the uh, 18th of December. So, I've just watched the film Arthur Christmas. And I don't want to be the one who uh, failed to deliver the last gift. So, I'm cracking on. Okay. I'm fully seam welded all the way around. I'll save all the grinding and cleaning till the end. Now I want to make this band that goes over the head and covers that hole. Uh, I use, for this lot I use a lot of 30 by 3 I, don't, I, I kind of find it a little narrow for doing that. I do happen to have a piece of 40 by 3 and I think to myself, that looks a little bit more substantial band across the top. So, I'm going to get that cut to shape. Okay, I've got my band cut. I've very, very roughly bashed it to shape. Not too hard to do, it's very malleable, very pliable this. What I really try to do to get is reasonable fit in here the rest of it i know you can see through that gap absolutely massive but once this here has been tacked in and the heat starts traveling over it's tack and bash tack and bash tack and bash and it will be a nice fit i like to overhang it at the front and then i'll just do a little v at the front fully seen well that's it all that's left to do so that will be to place a hole in what should I say in a larger hole for the chimney get the chimney cut and weld it in like I said, I'm going to crack on and get all this welded up and I'll get over to the chimney okay got that bent into shape, I've got it tacked on, just going to turn this off, it's a little bit noisy, but it's a small workshop as you can tell, so the fumes, well they disagree with me, so I have quite a big extractor van on, but it's a little bit noisy, it's noisy because, look at that, it's got a couple of veins missing, so it's out of balance, until I get another one, that's what I put up with. Okay, that's on. She's tacked on all the way over. Same method as doing the skirt. Tack, bash. Tack, bash. Don't worry about this end here until I've got the chimney ready. Then I'll cut the hole out once I've got the chimney. We're cracking on. Okay, I mitered my chimney at the top. I turned the mitre around, measured, well, roughly 12 inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, 11 inch. I'm, I'm easy going on these things. You can always cut it off. <coughs> well, that matter, it's steel. You can always weld it back on. I love, I love playing with steel. It's very flexible. Wood. I'm not so good at you make a mistake with wood ah there's not a lot you can do steel cut it on the place fill it in grind it off looks like new right i'm going to cut this piece not going to record it the last one was noisy enough okay so that's the chimney cut you look on top here you see it a couple of chalk marks let me give me a reference line I've also put a chalk mark in the centre of this chimney. I mean, the point now will be to manoeuvre this around 
so that chalk lines line up. I like to give it, rather than being vertical, I like to give it a little bit of a kickback, hence the degrees. Uh, don't worry about the little hole. Best thing about welding, you can fill anything in. So, I'm going to crack on now and get this chimney tacked into place. Okay, one all cut out with the angle grinder. It should still be quite warm, though, actually. Go, my love. Well, been chasing in for my tea. Like every good little boy, I have to go in. So, go for my tea. Come back, make this chimney fit. Okay, well, there's the chimney tacked on. I'm quite happy at the centrality of it. Is that a made up word? So, oh, maybe it's where I want it. The back, I kind of like that rake. I like that. Actually, not a bad weld. Kind of like the overall symmetry. Can't stress too much really when you're doing these things. It's not perfect. It is metal. You make a mistake, you can bash it. You can hit it. You can weld it. You can heat it up. You can mould it. You can shape it. You can fold it. You can do what you want with it. That's why I like working with metal. Right. Yeah. I dropped a bollock. You can see... Oh, well, you can see that gap under there. It's humongous. Well, I'm going to have to cut a little bit of a fillet. I've got an idea. I'll go into my waste bin. Right, oh, can't see nothing in there. Okay. That was the off cut for chimney. Maybe it's circular. I can cut a little piece off that to go from the to the weld it in. Never know. Okay, we've got Darth on his front. Oh, he's way looking at it. Got to try and tattle this big hole I've uh, made a mess of. Uh, got a piece of. Eight, maybe ten milli round bar. Well, it fits just nicely. So I think cut it about there, cut it about where my thumb is, get that tacked in, a little bit of grinding, banged in, bish bash bosh, welded, done, job done. Okay, look, we've got the fillet welded in. And I'll tell you what, my welding's getting better. So that's. Uh, basically all filled in. So, what can I say about, about Darth? Well, Darth's done. Gotta do now, do all the welding. Once I've done the welding, linish all the grinds, linish all the welds up, give it a coat of paint, and I trust, ah, no, 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 no. I've got to cut this spot here, so I can open the door, and I've got to put a, a gate catch on. Oh well, that'd be fun giving somebody somebody they couldn't open, wouldn't it? Right, crack on. Okay, well that's after a good 30, nah, 40 minutes of uh, grinding. I've got uh, all the welds all nicely uh, polished up. A chimney. I think I did rather a good job. I like really to blend this in nice or if it's left outside in the rain at least it's gonna run off nicely. Uh, I think I did a nice job of blending in that uh, fillet. My next job, uh, I did. I cut, cut the spot weld off so we can open it up and at least we can throw some wood in. <laughs> That's a hell of a smile, isn't it? Okay, what's my next thing to do? Well, Darth, 
on his helmet has a little bit of a feature here. I do one or two things. I either take my angle grinder with a disc and I put in three little grooves. What I want to try on this one is something slightly different. I'm going to find a selection of tubes and settled upon that one. No, I haven't. I filled upon that one on the floor. So, let me get that one. I settled on that one. Hook it up. Next step. I love this French chalk. We know what we're going to do. So I'm going to take this tube, and shove it up there. It's just the right size in between. Cut it off. Oh, I know that's the so cut it off. There. Yeah, cut it off there. Cut it in half and stick some grooves in that. So here we go. Well, as you can see now, I've cut a semicircle out of that tube. So I'm going to take, it's still warm, and get it. says, I'm going to regret this. This now weld it into position there with some groove cuts in it will give me the desired effect. Well, we'll see. Let's crack on. Okay, all. Well, I've now got uh, that effect, which is what I want. I now need a few grooves in it. I am slightly out of line I think a good bash with a hammer that side will even things up a bit right I need three grooves in that so I'm going to take this is what I normally use a one mil slitting disc that's not what I want so I'm taking a standard cutting disc it's probably about three mil thick and I think three grooves with that will give me the desired effect. We'll see. Okay, I need some sort of catch. No matter how much steel I can look at, I just ain't got the right sort of angle iron that I need. Some angle iron, it's about 40 40. And there. It ain't long enough. What have I got? Found a bent penis, bent piece of steel. Thought, well, I'll use that. Cut a piece of that off. Great. That's certainly the length. Thought that'll do. Well, you know, it must be about 15 mil thick. No good. I've had a route about. I've had a look through everything. Anyway. I found a piece of channel, so I've cut a piece of that off. And cut a leg off. That is just gonna do me nicely. Right, so that's my catch. I need a hole where my finger is. it's going to swivel up like that and a catch there. Let's crack on with that job. Well the hole drilled in that, you can see what's going to happen here. That's going to be a swivel point. 
with a simple hook cat on this side. I'm going to go crack on and get that hole drilled in. Get that cat's welded on. I've got my handle. I formed some sort of bracket. I put a little bit of space a piece in between. Clamp that together. Basically, it's going to slip like that. But to get that level, I'll just clamp that with a pair of more grips. I know he's pushing it something like, and I'm now going to weld this on here. Okay, I'm looking at Darth now and I think, well, is that be it? A nice little catch here. That's it. A little bit of a close-up there. It's nothing simple. Sorry, nothing simple. I mean, it is simple. Bit of angle iron. I can't really describe that. A bit of flat mark with a bit sticking out. It works. Right, I'm pretty happy at that, I'm pretty happy with all of it. 